Hi, Fofamint here, and today something super revolutionary has basically happened for VTubers or anyone who's interested in mocap. Really accessible, really high quality motion capture that you can get today for free. Disclaimer, you need Vive trackers. Please like, subscribe. When we get to 50,000 subscribers, I'll do a full video tour of my entire setup and uh, look at this graph. To get started, you are going to need a man. You're going to need to go to the Magnus VR website. You can click on the link down in the video description down below, and you're going to be downloading the Magnus Polygon program. You will have to register as a forewarning, and you're going to be downloading and installing it. In order to get the best tracking, you need to at least have six or up to eight Vive trackers uh, in order to uh, get full body tracking. If you'd like to see a, a tracking alternative, and later in this video, I'm also gonna do a, a quick comparison between the two, you can check out my video on virtual motion capture, which is another alternative. And actually with that one, you can actually use minimum three trackers, but recommended uh, six or up to 10. So once you have all of your Vive trackers connected and turned on, this includes any other Vive trackers, whether you have one for props or things like that, you have to make sure that you have them all connected because otherwise I found that there's some weird problems when you turn them on afterwards in terms of like how it recognizes some things. Magnus VR core tracker application. And then from there in the taskbar, you're going to be right clicking and opening the dashboard. Once you have the dashboard open, you can go to, you can go to the polygon tab. And then in the polygon tab, you should be able to see all of your Vive trackers kind of floating around in the background. One key thing to notice about your Vive trackers is that they will be color coded to make things easier to pair in the right place. And one by one, you are going to be using the drop down menu to select a tracker for the appropriate place, whether it's your head, your hands, your feet or your hips. And at this point, you might notice that the model might look a little bit cursed, but that's fine. You can also do the automatic calibration, but I find that that ca can cause some weird problems. So I don't recommend it. I recommend doing it manually like how I described earlier. This will be available in the polygon tab when you click on the trackers and you're going to be adding your trackers there. Once you've added all of your trackers, it's time to fine tune and start the calibration. So you're going to click on the user ID. It should look like user and some crazy numbers. And then you're going to hit the calibrate button. So with the calibration, you need to have all the Vive trackers mounted to your body. Once again, you need to have six Vive trackers in order to do this. You, all you need to do is just make sure that you follow the instructions and, and just basically mirror the mannequin's motions. After each set of calibration, whether it's for your hands, your legs, your feet, or your head or your hips, it will actually give you the opportunity to look and review just to make sure everything's working fine. At the end, you're going to see um, a rough calibration uh, of how things are going to be. It might be good. It might not be perfect. In my case, it actually wasn't that great. So I actually had to do some fine tuning. So to do the fine tuning, what you can do is um, once you finish the initial calibration, you can go into edit and here in edit, you'll be able to calibrate um, different body lengths, different body sizes and different ratios and, propor and proportions. Um, what I would recommend here is either to go based on your IRL measurements or just kind of fiddle with things until it tracks the way it should be. So just keep in mind about your arm, how your arm bends out as well as forward and like just take a close look at your leg and arm movements. Next. In order to get the motion data into Unreal Engine or Unity, um, if you want to see a tutorial on how to set this up specifically in Unity, uh, if we get to over a thousand likes on this video, I will do that. But for the in this video, we're going to be just doing it in Unreal Engine because that's what I use now. So from the same place, um, so from the same part of the Madness website, you should you should have also have downloaded the plugin. So for Unreal Engine, you download the latest plugin for Unreal Engine 4.27. If you're using Unreal Engine 5, there is an extra step. And I have also done a tutorial on how to bring all of your stuff 
into Unreal Engine 5 or 4.27. And you can check on this video that's gonna be appearing right here. And all the steps are gonna be the same, except for a use it. We're not gonna be using the motion capture data from VC Face or Virtual Motion Capture. So when you add the plugin, you go into your plugin section and then you just click, you just extract the plugin into your plugin section, whether it's Unreal Engine 4.27 or Unreal Engine 5. If you're using Unreal Engine 5, then what you need to do is you should find the U plugin file, then right click, go to edit. You can edit with um, either Visual Studio or a notepad, and then just change the launcher version from 4.27 to 5.0.0 and then launch. So once you open Unreal Engine in your content browser, you're gonna go to the settings option and you're gonna see the ability to, um, to be able to show engine and plugin content. So you're gonna make sure that you do that. Then in the side menu, you're gonna look for the madness folder. You're gonna be navigating to the blueprints and you're gonna be looking for the Blueprint Magnus Polygon Pawn. You're gonna be clicking and dragging that into your scene. If you're unable to see this, then you need to go to edit and then scroll down to Magnus and make sure that it's activated. If it's still not working in your engine and plugins, make sure that you enable Live Link, Live Link Control Rig, and Live Link XR if you have Live Link XR as an option. Now, once your player pawn is in there and you drag it into the scene, you should have um, a version of the default Unreal Engine mannequin. Press play and see if everything is working. Your motion capture should now be working. So this is fine and dandy, but what if you wanna make it so that it motion captures for your own model? If you want to do this in the outliner, click on the blueprint for the Magnus VR pawn. And then from there, click on the static mesh asset that is also on the Magnus VR pawn. In there, you're gonna see the a Magnus VR section. You're gonna click on that. And you here you're gonna have a couple options. Just for the sake of getting everything up and running, we're actually just gonna use the default pawn. In the Magnus VR section, you're gonna see the Magnus VR um, skeleton as the Magnus VR um, default version. So just double click on the icon and it's gonna bring up a new menu. Here you can change out the skeletal mesh. Once you change out the skeletal mesh, you're gonna have to manual, you can either automatically, but I also recommend manually checking or assigning the bones to the appro appropriate location, just like I did on my screen. Next, for your own model, you wanna make sure that you have a animation blueprint. So what you can do is you can right click the static mesh of your model. So it usually is underlined in purple in your content browser. And you can right click that, go to create and create animation blueprint. Once, that is, once that's created, you can double click to open it. So now in your models animation blueprint, all you need to do is go to the event graph and then click and drag out from the event start. And you're gonna be searching for Magnus Active. And what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be adding set Magnus Active and make sure you check that box. Next in the animation graph, all you need to do is add the uh, Magnus VR input pose and then set it to the output pose and press save. Back in the Magnus VR um, player pawn skeleton information, uh, you're, where we change the mesh out and we reset the bones, um, you're gonna be pointing to that very animation blueprint that we just created. In order to get facial tracking, you need to have an iPhone X or any iPhone device, any Apple device that has Face ID, and you need to install LiveLink XR. If you wanna see a video on how to set that up, please let me know in the comments down below. If we get enough comments, I'll, I'll, I'll make a dedicated video on that. So at the beginning of the video, I mentioned that there's uh, virtual motion capture and Magnus VR. And what is the main difference? I find that the motion capture here is a little bit more nuanced and a little bit more natural looking. So there are certain poses or certain movements that you just don't get with virtual motion capture. So for example, like in virtual motion capture, you can't really cross your legs without the legs kind of warping or bending. Um, often, like this is something that you can't do. Um, you can't just like do this in virtual motion capture either without without it moving the entire leg. But yeah, if you wanna check out the video on virtual motion capture, you can check it out, like I said, um, just if you click on the little eye icon just over there. Thanks for checking out this video. I hope you enjoyed it or found it informative and um, I'll see you next time. Bye.